we are going to introduce our new Vision Pick system, EVP2. If you want to realize a pick and place application using Tensor Robot, EVP2 is the best solution for you. EVP2 is very simple because it's dedicated for pick and place application using Tensor Robot. EVP2 is very easy because it's programming less. Finally, EVP2 has a very high cost performance. Now, let us demonstrate the EVP2. Okay, first we have to create a new project. And for detection method, we have four options. Shape search, and NCC search, blob search, color search. And this time we are doing shape search and creating a new project. And simple vision application can be created in four steps. And you can easily set up the vision picking system only for following this guidance. So let's start with our image acquisition. First, we have to set up a control ID address. So here. And then we do a camera calibration. And ID number two is uh, programmed in advance. And then move on to uh, shape search. And I will specify the area on the input image screen. And you can do this with your mouse and clicking. Okay, and I set the model height. And if necessary, you can set a contrast level by this uh, fader. Okay, and I'm going to register model. And if necessary, you can put a mask to where you don't you don't have to re register. And since it's rectangular shape, I will set the start angle as 0 and the end angle as 180. Then go into result transaction. For the transaction, you have to set the variable and this work count output setup uh, is going to be 0. And uh, work position output start variable is P10. And let's execute the uh, image processing just once. You can see the angles of work pieces correctly recognized. Now, image processing has been created. So let's send the created this project to a Kubota controller. So select the uh, EVP project, project transfer in here. And then we start, yes, we start uh, sending a projected data to controller. Once the transaction is finished, this comment pops up, so you will know what's gonna happen. Then, let's move a robot, real robot. And also you can check the result on your teaching pendant. And this is a screen of teaching pendant. If you use the EVP2, 
you can create image processing and robot operation in short time like this. And you can reduce the setup man hours.